Our uh, next speaker is Venus Jones. Venus is open for deaf poetry on Broadway, and her work has appeared in Poet Lore, UK, and anthologies including How I Freed My Soul, A Time to Rhyme, and A Generation Defining Itself. She's an Austin International Poetry Slam finalist and former MTV correspondent. Venus Jones is the author of four CDs and a book entitled She Rose. And she's also an accomplished model and actress who is working on feature films and has starred in countless commercials and print ads. Venus is versatile, inspiring people of diverse ages, backgrounds, and faiths. Her favorite quote is, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Here's Venus Jones. Let's have a meaningful conversation. We can live free from discrimination. Let's share our fears with no hesitation. Because we are one, we're one, we're one. Building bridges cross-culturally. Being the change we want to see. We are respecting our diversity because we are one, we're one, we're one. Hi, I'm Venus Jones, and I wrote that poem for an organization that I volunteer with in the community called Community Tampa Bay. And I want to share with you all my purpose today and being here is to be a light. Um, and I, I want you to think of a unity project that you want to be a part of, the next one. And if I can take care of a little business, if you like anything that I do today, please visit my website, venusjones.com. <laughs> and also know that we can continue the conversation on October 27th um, at Creative Loathing. Um, we're going to ask the question, is America a racist nation? And um, you can learn more at thebridgetampa.com. Um, so on that note, if you will allow me to do a poem that I wrote one year after 9-11 in anger, but I hope to deliver it today in peace. It's called, Was He Black? Good evening and welcome. Good evening and welcome. The revolution will not be televised. Good evening and welcome. Good evening and welcome. The revolution will not be televised. Good evening and welcome. Good evening and welcome. The revolution will not be televised. Good evening and welcome. Good evening and welcome. The revolution will not be televised. A young man threw his plane into Tampa's Bank of America. Was he a terrorist? You ask. Was he black? When a young man put pipe bombs in mailboxes, was he a terrorist? You ask, was he black? When a young man went on a journey, joined Al Qaeda, spoke a new tongue, was he a terrorist? You ask, was he black? Well, if I said he was black, would you say, I figured that? And if I said he was brown, would you say, he brought the Twin Towers down? And if I said he was white, would you say, hmm, no, that's not right. He must have been temporarily insane. Was he on medication? Must have gotten on the wrong track. Now how can we get that young man back? Now if he was brown or black, would you have said that? Would his medication been an unknown or insignificant fact? Because the war on terrorism did not start with Timothy McVeigh, nor did it begin on a year ago today. But as for the war on blacks, I just want to go 39 years back. That's when North America lost all of her taste in tech. Sunday, September 15th, 1963. I hope you will never forget. A young 11 and 14 died on 915 in the 16th Street Baptist. On 915, the building was a progressive and freedom fighting church where four little girls were found dead, dressed in their Sunday vests with blood, concrete, and glass spilling from their swollen heads. But this body was different. It was the spirit of the civil rights fight that they sought to kill. And even a racist Southern Belle suggested that the murder of a female child was ill. We lost more than one rare and precious pearl. The rest of the world mourned the stolen promise of each brown skin, freshly cut girl. But in the United States,
divided states, divided states. Victims and terrorists live side by side. Yes, criminals roamed in circles with torches in search of a sturdy tree. And it's a proven fact that J. Edward Hoover, the FBI, and the Klan were all working together, see? To stop liberation, to stop liberation, to stop liberation. Movement to silence the wannabe. Well voting, briefcase toting, well versed and financially mentally free. And penalty was extreme. Only if you were brown or black. I have to add a drop of pigmentation fee. Final convictions may have never been made if it wasn't for Spike Lee digging up dirt from the grave. Grieving families buried their own and they cried alone in separate communities. The nation did not unite against terror and wave flags and sing songs in unity for Cynthia Wesley, Carol Robertson, Patty McCollins, and Denise McNair. Some Americans have forgotten about the day that the children died with midnight eyes and bushy hair. Like the 250 million lost in the Middle Passage, the countless castrated and raped, the countless dragged and beat. The over 600 businesses bombed from the air in Tulsa on Black Wall Street. The countless injected with syphilis. The bread sold who slayed. This kind of terrorism has had a long existence in the home of the brave for over 400 years. Terrorists left scavengers in a variety of systematic tags. And thanks to Jim's policy, White sheets just took what they lacked, like sneaky racing rats. And today, you might find a black cat chasing his skinny tail. He's on parole, probation, or in jail. But there are those who dash across the finish line without fail, with their arms stretched to the sky to give thanks for being the black man in the movie who wasn't the first to die. And after a million marches in a wall of ebony and ivory grants, did you know that in 1995, not one but over 40 black churches burned again? Do we always have to loop and stoop as low as the oppressor to make amends? Will impoverished people of color ever catch up to that Euro dollar trend? America could repay the descendants of enslaved with affordable health care, decent housing, a quality education, and at least one profitable opportunity. But until then, just pretend that OJ didn't need 40 acres and at least one loyal mule to win. The Liberty Lady who weighs these facts is actually a blind old man. She just learned to sniff. I said she just learned to sniff all along that money track. She wants to keep her power and wealth intact. But are you going to forget these numbers? Are you going to forget about how those divine survivors of economic terrorism and racial profiling chose to react? And the next time they speak of a terrorist, will you ask, was he black? to let you all know that I am the, also the author. My last project was, um, in 1966, there was a, a black holiday that was created uh, after the uh, riots, and the holiday is called Kwanzaa. The first principle in Kwanzaa is called unity. In Kiswahili, we say Omosha. If you have an app, oh, my husband's in the back and he created an app. So we are representing um, Kwanzaa around the globe with over 5,000 downloads. Um, and if you have an iPhone, you, it's a free um, app, just so you know. This piece, in the spirit of unity today, as we continue the conversation. Umoja. I am treating others the way they don't even know they want to be treated. I am displaying wisdom and a divine grace, even when things around me get heated. I exceed expectations, and everyone benefits from the level of respect that is shared. I find strength in knowing that daily I have been an example of those who cared. 
I am in control of my mind and my emotions. Even when surrounded by good thought, I am receiving and giving equally, teaching what I've been taught. I am greeting every stranger I meet with a free smile. I am open for dialogue, even if you don't represent my style. I am looking for the good within others and myself today. I am at peace with my faults. And truth is the way we forgive. And we have been forgiven. Learning from the past. joy and the pain and know that peace will last. Everything is everything. We are holding each other in the highest possible esteem. We are all worthwhile people, no matter the color of our team. I am focusing on what makes you and I the same. I pay attention, even when they call your name. Omoja is unity. In Kwanzaa, this is the first day. We will weigh this principle carefully and give grace a shade. This is the mantra. I want y'all to repeat after me. We are all worthwhile. We are all worthwhile. All blood bleeds the same. All blood bleeds the same. I pay attention. I pay attention. When they call your name. We are worthwhile. All blood bleeds the same. I pay attention when they call your name. Salam, shalom, peace. Thank you. Our next 